Hey, uh, man, uh, what a great night on campus in, 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 in Rocky Top, man. Like, fan base, uh, unbelievable energy. Knew it would be that way, man, but it even surpassed my expectations. Vol walk was unlike anything I've ever seen as a uh, college football player or college coach, man, and, and uh, the energy inside the stadium was electric. Um, you guys are a huge part of this win tonight. Appreciate uh, everything that you guys have done here as we've tried to build this program. Uh, really excited for our players, just the growth that they've shown, the ability to compete no matter what the score was, no matter what was going on in the football game, just resilient and fierce competitors and <clears throat> where we've grown in, in, uh, in the time that I've been here, just really proud of our players. There's a whole lot that we can do a whole lot better, but uh, the, uh, the goal for us is to find a way to win uh, each Saturday that we're on the field and, and be the best football team. And uh, we were able to do that tonight and, and uh, great game, man. So it was fun having a lot of VFLs back too, man. We had a lot of former players back. It's great to have guys, I mean, from all eras too, the 80s and 90s, 2000s, 2010s. It's, uh, it's important that, uh, that we have those guys around. I appreciate those guys making the trip and, and being a part of this tonight. I'll open it up. David then Rob. Uh, Josh, after a week of buildup and obviously today, not a real typical game day for you guys. What is it like? What does it mean for this program to win a game? What do you mean, not a real typical game day? Uh, I mean, going on game day. Obviously, you have game day here. All that stuff. All the sort of the pomp and circumstance of today. What does it mean to win a game in this, in this situation? Yeah, uh, the game day atmosphere. That that is. This is Rocky Top. This is this is what it is. There's been some times where it hasn't been that, but man. Ball walk the way it is, that, that stadium rocking the way that it is, that is Rocky Top for our recruits and, and for our players. It's what we've built, and, and uh, this is one of the great stories in all of college football. And, uh, uh, you know, that's why the stadium looks the way that it does. Um, you know, I thought our players handled the week itself in a really positive way. Um, I told them early in the week, <clears throat> like, everything that we work for, just having been a player, like, yeah, blocking out the outside noise is not real. Like, it's everywhere. And so you're going to hear it. Um, understand the opportunity that you've created for yourself, right? Like what the game's going to look like and, and the opportunity that we have, college game day being here, the stadium, um, the energy, all of that. Understand what it is, and now it's about your preparation. And, and I told the players today uh, when we got done with our uh, walkthrough right before we got on the bus, man, soak it in. Enjoy enjoy a moment of, of all walk. Enjoy what it looks like running out that tee today. And then reset and be fierce in the way that we compete for each other. And, and uh, I thought they prepared in a great way, and then uh, they were opportunistic and, and uh, competed really hard for each other today. Coach, the touchdown drive, 99 yards just before the half, how significant was that? And just was that kind of a snapshot of, of Hendon Hooker and a, and a senior quarterback? What, yeah, um, obviously a huge in the way that the game played out, right? Uh, we score on that one. We score on the beginning of the, the third quarter. We're in some long yard situations uh, during the course of that drive. <clears throat> Got it going. Made a huge play uh, with Ramel down the sideline. Um, there were some big plays in, in the football game. that. Man, Hendon played his butt off tonight. Like, he played at an elite level. Decisive with the football, accurate with the football, you know, intermediate, short, long. Um, used his legs at the right time, created big plays there. And, and uh, you know, just a, a tough competitor, man. And uh, offensively fed off of him all night long. David Pascal in Austin. Josh, Cedric's been such a big part of things for you ever since you've been here. Obviously, tonight yeah. wasn't, wasn't Nobody was go. happier in the locker room than Cedric was tonight. Well, he was moving you around on that, in that boot pretty well after the game on the field. But just your, your reaction to the way uh, Brew and Ramel and everybody else stepped up. Yeah, uh, it's a team game. And um, we love Ced and recognize what he brings to the table. <clears throat> Somebody goes down. I don't care what position, what unit that it's on. It has to be a next man up mentality. You've heard me talk about preparing for your opportunities so that when you get it, you're ready to take advantage of it. I thought Ramel did a great job tonight and, and uh, you know, made big plays. Won his one is one-on-ones, uh, executed extremely well. And, um, you know, obviously with, from, uh, with said uh, bye week here, we'll, we'll see where we're at, but hopefully we can get him back uh, for the next one. Can you talk about uh, Hendon's toughness? I know he went to the injury tent a couple of times and just, you know, just went up there and just gutted through it. I mean, I know you talked about the game, but just to see him kind of look in his eyes <coughs> in between when he went out there and just how much he was pushing through and cutting through and playing well. And then secondly, uh, you seem to kind of hold him down 
on the ground, um, you know, at points in the game. Talk about your run defense. Uh, Hendon Fierce played like a warrior tonight. Um, we had a lot of guys that, that did that, um, but Hendon was uh, relentless in the way that he competed and, and uh, obviously um, was well enough to play the way that he did, you know, and played at an unbelievably elite level. Uh, <coughs> defensively, I have not even looked at the stats here. I don't know what their, their rushes were, um, but I thought for the most part, we handled um, you know the run game uh, extremely well. There were a couple times that we uh, let them come out the back door on some of their zone read concepts. The quarterback hurt us a couple times uh, early. <clears throat> you know, we didn't get to them as much in their max protection as, as we needed to. They were able to hit some shots down the field, but um, you know, I thought we did a good job uh, against the rush against them. Jimmy the West, <coughs> your offense was uh, incredibly efficient. Other than a couple of fumbles, just talk about what made it. That was it, Hendon Hooker, or, or other things like that. <clears throat> yeah, the the fumbles um, um, were critical, hurt, and uh, then the fourth downs uh, where we weren't able to convert. We had been executing at a really high level there. Um, you know, those were things that hurt us in the football game and, and changed the way the game was played. Gave them an opportunity. You know, what I mean, to hit an onside kick and have a chance at, there at the end. But uh, <clears throat> at the end of the day, there's a lot of things in all three phases that we can get better at. Um, however, uh, we'll take this one and enjoy it. <coughs> Josh, me. I know you talk about in football all the time, right? Guys get hurt, it's the next man up, and you do that. And, and, and Ramel Keaton today sort of kind of lived by that. What Did you see have you seen this kind of a potential in him? I mean, in, 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 that he could step up and make kind of these plays in these games? You guys have seen him when he's been given the opportunity. He's made plays. That's you know, in the early part of this year, it's last year too. <clears throat> Hendon's got great confidence in him, and, and to me, that tells you everything that you need to know about <laughs> Ramel, the player. And uh, we have a ton of confidence in him too. <coughs> Every uh, program as they evolve have to have sort of benchmarks. What what part do you think winning a rivalry game, beating ranked teams, has in the overall picture? I, I, I don't know the answer to that other than uh, this was the next one on our journey here this year. Our kids competed and prepared in a great way, found a way to get a win. <clears throat> it's huge for our fan base. Um, obviously, the, uh, you know, the past is the past for the guys, coaches, and players inside of our program. But it's something that, uh, obviously, our fan base is, is aware of. But um, I'm really proud of our guys, man. They, they, uh, they compete, man. And, and today was a great example of that. Joe and Vince. Yeah, Josh, just wondering what you're thinking there down the end after they get that onside kick, they get kind of the range and then the aggression that you guys had on, on that final play. Yeah, uh, make, a, make a play. Uh, didn't want to be able to just sit back there and, and pat it all day long and, and uh, find a way to, to get off the football field and come away with a win. Obviously, hands team, we got to find a way to come up with that one on the second attempt, and, and there's some things that we can do better. <clears throat> Clock management to, to change that, too. Josh, a couple things. Uh, I know a lot happened afterwards, but how big were those defensive stops early when Florida drove on you guys a couple of times and they came away with no points? Yeah, the uh, you know the early part of the game, both teams go down, don't get points uh, early. <clears throat> the the stops, the missed field goal, um, the pressure we apply on the field goal, all of that was a, a huge part of, of the football game. And um, you know, our kids were resilient, continue to compete, and there's some things defensively that we did really well. There's some things that we got to get better at. <clears throat> Just, you know, communication, being in the right spot as far as our drops in the secondary, playing a little bit tighter in some of the situational football. Got them in second and long, a decent amount. Just didn't get off the football field in second and long, and third and long, the, the way that we need to. I know you got to probably look at the tape, but how much did Omari Thomas pop out to you with some of the plays that he, he made today? Because yeah, uh, deflected ball, I think, uh, there in, uh, in the late part of it. Did a really good job in the run game. Obviously, we'll, we'll see a lot more as, as I watch the tape. David in Austin. Uh, Josh, when you look at Hendon tonight, how close is that to the best you've seen Hendon and, and to get him to, to reach the ceiling that you think he can have? <coughs> what do you need to see from him? I, I mean, it's a really efficient night, you know. I <clears throat> Good in the pass game, really good in the run game, decisive, controlled it. Um, yeah, had six incompletions. I don't know what they were, but man, he was efficient and effective all night long. And, and uh, fortunate and love having him as our trigger guy. I asked you about this on Thursday when you talked about just the, having all the recruits in and having yeah. that, that atmosphere. When you look around at, at the end of the game, the game's over and the team's celebrating over there with the students, but you look around the stadium, it's still checker. Yeah. What, what do you think that? And 
you look at our players over with our student body at the end of the game. I've never seen a scene like that at the end of a game after it's over. It, uh, <clears throat> it's a huge part of the impression and the energy that, uh, that recruits see and feel. And it's real and it's genuine. And, and uh, you know, they get an opportunity to see what the locker room's like too, which is, is huge. And, and uh, there's a lot of positive things inside of our building, the culture that we're building. Two more questions, Mike and David Costa. Yeah, Josh, I mean, obviously you've got some familiarity with the Heisman Trophy as a former runner-up. When Hendon has this sort of performance and this type of offense, do you embrace the kind of attention and um, pop popularity, I guess, that he'll get out of a performance like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, you continue to win. Uh, you continue to play the, the way that he is. Um, you're going to get uh, a lot of attention, uh, deservedly so. Um, be mature enough as an individual and as a football team will, team to, to handle it. But uh, those things are, are um, you know, as you continue down this journey here over the next month, um, you got to continue to play the way that he is. But he's special. Josh, you've got one of the earlier buys in the league or open dates in the league. Do you like that, uh, given the schedule, or do you wish y'all could keep going? I know you got to. You never, it. you never get to control it. Uh, you never know if it's going to be the right time um, for us. It is the right time. Uh, we get an opportunity to have some guys catch their breath and and uh, hopefully get a little bit healthier. And and uh, that's in all three phases of the game. Uh, you know, offense, defense, and, and guys that uh, are playing on special teams too. All right, thank you. We have thank players waiting. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.